Hey everybody, Dr. Rob here, Facebook Live, the back pain solution. 80% of Americans have back pain. And in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna share with you a great new breakthrough or watershed moment in the treatment of chronic lower back pain. So everybody do me a favor, like it, share it, and if you have a question or a comment, put it there down. Stephanie's right there, she's gonna ask me some questions at the end and we're gonna really talk about something that's gonna revolutionize the way that people's lower back pain or chronic lower back pain is treated. It's truly, truly exciting for me. So once again, like it, share it, and question or comment on it. 80% of Americans have lower back pain, eight out of 10. It's a hundred, over a hundred billion dollar industry exceeding in America today. It's the second reason, second most common reason that people go to primary care physicians. Number one is just your common cold. So lower back pain is everywhere. People don't know where to go for it. They suffer from it. Um, what's most interesting is as a chiropractor, 14.2% of the population see chiropractors yet with these eight out of 10 people searching out lower back pain. I think we're gonna have a nice little cascade going on in here in a little kumbaya moment, if you know what I mean. In addition, Drugs don't help. We see that we're having this tremendous opiate epidemic. Opiates are out, they're ineffective, people are getting um, uh, addicted to them. It's posing a major issue. A lot of people are taking non-prescription drugs for lower back pain. Non-prescription drugs like NSAIDs, uh, non-steroid anti-inflammatories, Aleve, Advil, Ibuprofen. They do decrease some pain, but they impair healing. They're not a choice for back pain or chronic lower back pain. What they do, these NSAIDs, is they don't allow for muscles to heal, they don't allow for cartilages to heal, they don't allow for bone to heal, they don't allow for any healing whatsoever. People associate the fact that they decrease some pain temporarily as healing, and that is actually very incorrect. And in addition, they cause leaky gut, which is 80% of your immune system is in your gut, posing an issue, no non-steroid anti-inflammatories. What's a better solution? Well, guess what? Got it right here. In July of 2018, Arconia Medical got the first FDA clearance for low-level laser for chronic lower back pain. I'm very excited about it. I've been using the lasers for multiple years. You can reach out, call me, email me, use Facebook, and tell me about your lower back pain. So when we talk about chronic lower back pain, what are we talking about? You can have a sprain strain. You can have some osteoarthritis. You can have the different type of disc injuries, bowl, herniations. All these things can lead to what we call chronic lower back pain. Chronic being back pain over a three month period. In addition, for this relief of chronic lower back pain, I've used the low level laser for multitude of other conditions. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to speed up, switch my whiteboard, and get right into the study and share the results with you and break it down and then show you how it works. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Here we go. The study had 58 people. So what they did was they broke it into two groups, the placebo group and the people who received a true laser therapy. The average pain was a 59 or 59.1. So the pain scale went from zero to 100, as opposed to most of the pain scales that you see in doctors, which go from zero to 10. So zero to 100, 59. They had the participants on an average had lower back pain for 97.8 months. It's over eight years. They had chronic lower back pain for over eight years, many of which have tried multitude, many different treatments with no resolution of pain, no resolution of healing. Now, me being a practitioner, just like many people out there and, and many uh, practitioners that a lot of the patients who are watching go to, I understand people's frustration. It's very frustrating to be in pain. If you're telling me that every day you wake up and your back is approximately a six out of 10 over an eight year period, it's life changing. It's not only life changing, your activities of daily living are gone, you're not looking at life real positively, it's aging, it's uncomfortable, there's activities that you can't do. So six out of 10 is pretty um, prestigious. In any case, they did eight treatments for 20 minutes, twice a week for four weeks twice a week, spreading them up every three or four days, eight 20 minute treatments. A couple of big takeaways there. They did just laser. 
They didn't do any exercise rehab, no adjustment, no taping, no change in diet, nothing extra, purely just laser, which was the FX 635. They, they had a 72.4% decrease, the percentage of people had a 30% or more decrease in lower back pain. So almost three quarters of the people who were in the laser um, group had a 30% decrease or more in lower back pain. Actually, it was like a 59% decrease when you look at the numbers overall from placebo to a laser group. Interesting, and Steph was real nice enough. She actually drew this wonderful graph. So in the graph, here's your placebo group, and you've got one, two, three, four, and five points, and you've got the same five points here between the placebo and the test group. Pre-procedure, procedure number four, you can already see the change between the placebo and the test group. Then after eight, you see a more of a change, so you see this precipitous drop going here. Make note, post four weeks, one month later, people got better after within one month and they continue to improve with no further treatments one month and two months. No adverse side effects noted. No complaints, no adverse side effects noted. Let me go through the graph one more time. So here we have the placebo versus the test group and we have the placebo versus the test group seeing a difference in the, four, the two weeks, the four weeks and that, that four weeks is treatment number eight. Then post four weeks, one month later, the pain continued to decrease and continued to decrease two months later, no adverse side effects. How does low level laser work? Low level laser works, it's a light laser. We call it low level laser. I like to refer to it as non-thermal laser. Non-thermal laser means there's no healing. Excuse me, let me say that again. Guys at Oconia right now, you're ready to start shooting me and everybody out there. It's no heating. Non-thermal laser, no heating. There's no heating, there's no touch, touch needed, there's no oscillation, there's no vibration. So it's light, 635, the wavelength of visible light. So it's a red light that's done. Now I'm gonna turn the laser on, I'm gonna bring it right over here. Here is my own FX 635. If you wanna try it, give me a call, get in the office, we'll put you on the program, and I'm gonna press. It's just that easy, I'm gonna press play. So what you see is three specific diodes here. Here's diode number one. We can get that in there, right? You can see the diode and you can see the diode circul circulating. It's circulating at about 120 degrees. Here's diode number two, right on my hand. And here's diode number three, all at the wavelength of 635, which mimic, mimics and matches visible light. 635 nanometers mimics and matches visible light with no heating properties. What it does is, it allows for increased ATP, oxygenation, and neurotransmission. It's allowing the body to heal at a cellular level exponentially. So people don't necessarily even feel it because there's no, once again, oscillation, vibration, or rubbing on a particular skin. It's a, without question, a watershed moment for chiropractic and people who want to treat chronic lower back pain. It's low-level laser, the reason they refer to it is that its power is low. It's milliwatts, it's 17.5 milliwatts per diode. So you're never gonna get any heat, you're never gonna get any joules. Now I've been using this for several years, getting without question outstanding results. In addition, I do it a little differently in that I have people do specific exercises, I'll ask them to brace to engage their core, I'll ask them to do some McKenzie protocols, we'll ask them to do some yoga type exercise poses, cat camel, bird dogs, planks, even side planks, and it really exponentially increases the healing process. You can mix laser with any of your chiropractic treatments, like adjustment, any soft tissue, taping, instrument assisted, and of course, nutritional protocols, which I do a lot of, glucosamine and chondroitin being one of the biggest ones for any kind of disc injuries. So without question, if you have chronic lower back pain and you've tried a multitude of things or want to try the best first, I would go for the FX635. Steph, I see you smiling. It sounds like we're getting blown up with a lot of questions. Uh, yes, I have a few. So the first one is, in the FDA clearance study, did they do anything other than the laser? 
Okay, so the question was, in the FDA clearance study, did they do anything other than the laser? And the answer was no. They simply took the laser, put the person in position, they were prone and face down, they pressed play, and for 20 minutes they got a great laser therapy, just like I'm showing you right here. So what other treatments would I do with the laser? Well, everybody has a different protocol. My protocol is very simple. I also provide some traction and adjustment if needed. All works very synergistically. Laser works synergistically with any kind of chiropractic treatment, soft tissue. And what I do during the laser is I usually have the patient move a little bit, get a little exercise rehab. As I said before, bracing, core, planks, side planks, bird dogs, and the like. So you can do things while the person's on the laser. One of the biggest takeaways, the question was any side effects to the use of the laser. One of the biggest side effects where there was no adverse event, uh, effects or events noted a, a month or two after the study was done. If anything, you saw the improvement uh, uh, with the patients as the study went on and they stopped. After they were done, they continued to heal because again, you're healing at a cell level, so cells don't work immediately and fix everything immediately. It's over a duration of time. Everybody has to remember that healing is a process and laser stimulating the healing process so it takes effect over a duration of time. One of the biggest problems we have as practitioners is that patients don't understand the very thing that healing is a process and they want an immediate turnstile push button effect. Drugs will give you that by, mimic, by decreasing pain, but they don't get loud for any healing. You're gonna feel better over duration of time and get true outcome if you use low level laser therapy. Okay, that's, everything. that's it. My God, it's a lot of fun. Guys, feel free, like, share, anything you like. I'm here, ask questions. Hopefully this was useful for everybody. Remember, next week, I'm not going to tell you where I am, but I'm going to be away. You're going to see a beautiful sight when I do my next Facebook Live. Dr. Rob, always yours in health.